Okay, I can't talk too loudly today because it's super, it's like 6 in the morning, everyone's still sleeping, and I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I'm filming Bunny and Chair today because we usually film two episodes in a day. The first one I'm filming is one where we're doing another person's makeup, so we're not doing it yet ready with me for that part. So I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to show you this new, well, no, no, it's not even, I don't even know if it's new. This Kuromi collection from some random Chinese brand, Pink Bear? Inga? Super cute. Eyeshadow, two lip tints, and a mirror, which when you do this, you can use it as a standing mirror. I just thought it was a coincidence though that as soon as I bought that, the K-Beauty brand Romand, they came out with a My Melody Kurumi collection, which by the way, that one as well, there was a My Melody version. Don't really care about it because I'm a cool tone girly, but Romand came out with a My Melody Kurumi collection as well. But today I kind of want to go for like a punk vibe inspired by Miss Kurumi here. So uh, we're going to use this collection for this video. I did my skincare, so I'm gonna go in with foundation. I originally discovered that thing through YouTube where it was a trend of Chinese girls literally doing their full ass makeup on the subway on the way to wherever. And I loved the color of the makeup that she did, so I was like, I need to find out what this is. So I found it on a AliExpress. This foundation is so good. It really sucks that it comes in only literally two colors. I'm gonna say something though that I feel like it might be a little bit controversial, but I love what Fenty did for the beauty industry. I remember back in the day when I went with a friend to go makeup shopping, I wanted to buy him makeup. So I was like, okay, let's buy you foundation. Girl, we could not find anything for him. So the fact that Fenty really shook the beauty industry and told everyone, y'all need to make foundation colors other than literally, like I remember it was literally different versions of beige. Kundae. What I don't like is the fact that this whole era of makeup has caused everyone to start looking super fucking yellow. I remember back when I was in college, I was like, oh my God, all the foundations out here are so, they're so pinky. There's not enough yellow shades. But I feel like the makeup now is like massively overcorrected in that everything is so yellow now. I've been studying a lot about like skin color and skin theory or whatever. No matter what skin color you are across the spectrum, whether you're the fairest to the darkest, all skin tone is based off of the color orange. But skin tone is made up of red, blue, and yellow, including white and black as well. So a combination of those five colors makes up your skin and I just feel like everyone's so damn yellow these days. Let's take this rather neutral tone of foundation for example. Since companies aren't adding enough blue to a lot of these foundations they look quite yellow. And so when people are like oh you know the whole conversation about the foundation being too light if you're of like a lighter or fair skin tone and you're looking for those colors that are more neutrally looking, I feel like you can really find them in K-Beauty. Otherwise, yeah, you would have to go to a more uh, Western brand for, for more of a variety of foundation shades. But these days, if there's someone that's like on the forums that's asking for recommendations for foundations for lighter, paler skins, I tend to recommend K-Beauty foundations because usually that's where you can only find the fairer shades that have colors that look realer. Also, I think it's just funny that a lot of the Western makeup that's made these days is made in Korea anyway. So even if you want to try these K-Beauty foundations, you can pretty much try them in the West as well, like for example, the House Labs Foundation by Lady Gaga, that one is made in Korea. I'm mixing these two concealers, a classic combination of mine. I'm mixing it with a spatula and I'm also going to apply it with a spatula. I went to Jenny House, the makeup shop in Chongdam. Is it Ch Chongdam or Apgujong? They did this and I was like, I should also try that. Speaking of K-beauty, I was randomly thinking about like prom season, you know, graduation picture season in the States and stuff. And thinking about how like my sister, when she got her makeup done for her friend's wedding, I think it's because my sister mentioned going to her friend's wedding. She got her makeup done several times at these places. And also I followed the bad MUA subreddit. Girl, I really want to go to America. Basically do this thing where kind of taking clients, uh, cause you always see me do people's makeup on my channel, right? When it's like prom season or like graduation season, you know, hit me up. I'll make some kind of form. I'll do your makeup. I was saying on my Instagram story, I was, I was like, oh, if I ever wanted to be like a professional, like true professional makeup artist that does clients, I would have to be skilled in a whole ass range of makeup styles. And thinking about it, even for me, I follow several makeup artists on Instagram. A lot of them are actually just experts at one style, which like if you can do a certain look, then you're pretty much good. And so I was like, oh shit, why don't I, uh, hop on that only knowing one makeup style. Of course, it's good to have a good range of skills for makeup artistry, so you have more, you can do more types of jobs, but obviously I feel like if I'm ever doing this kind of business, my first clientele would be like people that watch my channel maybe, probably, or people that are obviously interested in K-beauty or want more natural makeup, which I feel like I'm better at. The girl, the whole like complicated ass makeup, like I cannot do that shit. So I was like, oh, why don't I try that song? 
let me know what you think. If you'd like me to do your makeup for your prom or your... My friend literally sent me this picture and she was like, if you can do this look, then you're pretty much good. I was like, that's kind of true. I do wish I could learn how to do hair though. I can do makeup, but if I can do hair too, girl, I would be set. I'm using uh, the Kaleidos Eye Primer to prime my eyes. <laughs> One thing the makeup artist at the at Jenny House did was, actually a lot of makeup artists do this, is to actually start with shading. And I think about it now, that's actually what I get, tend to do at first as well. But she actually starts with the face. I'm using flower nose. I guess my concept today is kind of like Yena, Yena Choi. Yena Choi, before she was talking about how she hates Miss Rodrigo. <laughs> Girl, that whole thing was a mess. I don't think her company did this shit on purpose. This whole her getting like the video taken down, having to re-edit it, upload it, and her basically canceling her promotion schedule entirely. What I think the problem is, is that a lot of these A&R people are these people that come up with these concepts. That's the whole thing about Korean society is that everything is a concept. Anything in life, whether it go, comes to going to, go to cafes, having a certain like clothing aesthetic, living a certain, like being a vegan, more than a lifestyle, just concepts. And so that's why you get, often get these sorts of controversies in these uh, in the world of K-pop and shit like that when they do these like style choices that are very problematic because to them when they're first coming up with the idea they think oh my god this is like this is so Kim so this so it's like a vibe it's an aesthetic but they don't think about this shit like oh they don't think that making a hashtag hate Rodrigo is gonna backfire on you my god I do have to agree with a lot of people though that I really preferred what's the is the wicked love bad love wicked love the other song on the album that song was so much better but too late now, isn't it? Super shy, of course. Um, I, I will say though that I felt a little bit overwhelmed by all the music cut from them coming. I'm used to them like, well, no, I can't even say that because literally Hype Boy, Attention, and Cookie, and Hurt, they all came out pretty much around the same time. I don't know, I guess I'm overwhelmed by all the content that was coming out at once in terms of music. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I just feel like I couldn't enjoy, I like it when I can enjoy every, almost like with J-pop. Literally you'll get albums every four fucking years. When in the K-pop world, that's literally already game over for you. In J-pop, I'm used to that, but I'm able to really fully enjoy the album and like bodies of work because there's so much time between releases. I don't know, I think I was just a little bit super overwhelmed by everything with ETA, New Jeans, and then Super Shy. But the music is still fucking fantastic. And the, oh, the song is so simple, but I love the vocal melody that they put in there. I don't like though that how the songs are so literally so fucking short. Like we're literally getting to the point where our songs are two minutes now, and that's like unheard of for me. While we're still here in J-pop with four to seven minute songs. Okay, let's try this eyeshadow palette. Pink Bear Fairy Dream Eyeshadow in number six, Kuromi, limited edition. Limited, but I was able to find on AliExpress. So this is so cute. Look at that. Long cute one. Oh my god. I love the little detail of the right here. I'm gonna do something unprecedented and I'm gonna start with this color. I might regret this, but. I'm gonna start not even at the corner of my eye, just like here. I've been following this girl on Chao Hongshu and she kind of has looks where she does this. It's gonna look really fucking messy, but I promise it should work out in the end. Oh my God, what is this? Doesn't that look weird? Oh, sh oh. Wait, that's creamy. Is that a base color? It feels like it feels like cream. I think I think you you can use this as like a base for the rest of your shadow so it like sticks onto something. It's really cool actually that it comes in there. I'm gonna take this pale lavender shade and actually put that on the outside here. Again, this looks fucking messy, but please let's trust well I hope. I'm saying trust the process, but this could very much go south. I'm gonna take the liquid concealer I used earlier on my face. Oh my god, I suck at this. Oh, that's so messy. It's okay though, because we can fix it with the eyeshadow later. We just need that part to be really bright. <gasps> oh my god, did y'all see uh, Odd Eye Circle? Holy shit. That song is amazing. And I love how it's still very much Odd Eye Circle vibes. Is it Artemis or Odd Eye Circle? I feel like drum and bass is really, I don't want to say making its way, but I think it's making its way back into K-pop, because they're definitely drum and bass music songs in K-pop and then uh, use that pale ivory shade. It's actually like an off-white, but more grayish. Ooh, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. And then I'm gonna take this beautiful shimmery color in the center. Just like right here. <gasps> you better fucking work my pussy, bitch. It's 7 a.m. I cannot be acting like this. Oi. That is so hot. That's so hot. And actually, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take this silver and kind of do that here. Almost to like blend the two. 
Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right. This is getting out of hand. I'm gonna take the same silver one. I don't know if this will work, but we'll see. I'm gonna try to... And then use the purple one that we used initially. Mm, I don't think you can really see it, but it's okay. It'll be one of those little things that only you and I know. <gasps> oh my god. These two pale shades, I'll put that on my egg guitar first. Just to set under here because this shit creases like a bitch. I tried the Rome and Kurumi, Kurumi um, palette yesterday just to practice the look I would do for the video in which I would use that. And I kind of like these colors more. I feel like the shadow's a little bit more pigmented. And then I'm gonna use just a combination of like these deeper shades to kind of contour around that and give, do my line and shit like that. Oh, I love colors like this. This kind of like grayish rosy tone. Oh God, love it. It reminds me of the lip colors that Kylie Jenner would wear back in. 2014 50, 16 with like her turquoise hair. <laughs> Oof, that was a moment in time. Also use that color from my egg as hair. Today's bunny and cherry, so I think I can like, like literally I would never do this in real life because it's such a, it's literally a line. But I think for bunny and cherry, it's okay. And using that deep gray in the palette. I think I want to go for like a really upturned eye today. Kind of like a very devilish sort of look. Oh my god. Y'all, I'm fucking living. <laughs> this is too good. These are the palettes I feel like are worth investing in because you can get both natural and of course more, I guess, dramatic looks. Oi. Okay, this is the part where I always fuck up. Like I cannot do my eyes evenly. are not the same. <laughs> fuck. I suck. Oh my, oh my god, what is that? What the fuck did I do? Holy shit. <sighs> Let's see if I can fix this shit with a black liquid liner. This is the flower nose one. Hmm. Yeah. Funnily enough, when I was getting my makeup done at Jenny House, the artist as well, when she was doing this, I, she did eyeliner on me and she kept having to do this, like not fixing, but going back and forth to adjust this eye because the fat on this lid falls down more. And I was like, isn't that left eye so hard? She's like, well, it's just different. I was like, bless your heart. That's better. I think. <laughs> I'm gonna use this little mini half curler with a lighter to heat this shit up. This really helps with curling lashes. Just make sure you don't do it too long because that shit will burn. It will burn. And I'm using a half curler because my eyes are so round. This part always gets crimped at the end of the lashes rather than at the base. So using this half one really lets me get in to the corners. But truth be told, like I've said before, if you have eyes like mine that the brows are a little bit more lower, you don't necessarily have to curl your lashes unless they go straight, straight down. You don't need a super curled up lash because if it's too curled upwards, it will literally hit your upper brow bone. And to be honest, especially if you wear fake lashes, it will just cover up your entire eyeshadow. Unless it's the look you're going for, I feel like it's such a waste of your eyeshadow. Okay, then I'm just gonna add a lashing of black mascara. These are the lashes I'm using. These are, like I mentioned, these are very like, very spiky, kind of like devilish looking. Devilish sounds like such a weird way to describe it, but it's kind of the look that a lot of uh, Asian girlies use to describe this kind of like, naughty, kind of bad girl, kind of like, that vibe. <laughs> Ooh. I... Bitch, you better fucking work my pussy. This is it. This is the one. I'm getting my confidence back. <laughs> Today's guest is Leo, and he's coming to my house first, and we're gonna be taking a taxi together so that she's gonna see me like, before or after filming of Bunny and Cherry, I'm gonna be looking like this with a fucking wig on, right? So it's just so awkward. And also, the bathroom is used, there's multiple offices on that floor. So I just walk into the boys' restroom looking like this. Adiosio, adiosio. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of the shimmer on my lower lid, on my ego side as well, using my finger. Oh my god. Uh, that is so cunty. One, 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 way. Better keep that pussy, pussy cunt. I kind of want to mix these two. This is giving very much like Harajuku. So I'll use this pink one lightly as like a base. Oh my god, with the lens and these lashes, my eyes. Oh 
Oh my god. And a little bit of the red. Oh my god, that is bad. Oh, that is cunty. Oh shit, I forgot to finish off my concealer. And I literally realized I did not even fucking do my eyebrows. Oh my god. Using a little bit of the Anastasia powder just to matte the skin down here. So there's two lip colors in this collection. They don't have names, it's just the Pink Bear Blur Water Tint in R200 and R420. It's very much, the texture is very much giving um, the blurry water tints from 3CE. They're both very warm tone though. These are the two colors. They start as like these water tints, but then they'll dry down matte. In the Rome and collection, they're both very cool toned, which I was super into, but this is Chinese beauty and they love their warm toned lips, so. With this formula, I wouldn't recommend rubbing your lips together. You kind of want to blend while it's still wet because otherwise, once it's dry, it's dry, it's there. It's kind of hard to layer once it's dry. In fact, I'm going to layer on the second color one right now. Oh my god. Oh, these are really not my colors. Pull, Pull up, up in, in the, the Sri Lanka, Lanka like what? what? <laughs> oh my god. I feel like that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> These bangs, I don't know what, my forehead is built differently and not in a good way. This is gonna have to do. Basically what I did to my sister. <laughs> Y'all that wear wigs every day, I commend you, like literally out here torturing yourself. <gasps> Should I call my sister on FaceTime? Oh, I know. I was awake, but I was like asleep. So I was awake, but I was asleep. What the fuck was that? I got this Kuromi collection or whatever. The, the face you're going for? To look like a cat? The way you ask that here, like, is that what you're look? Is that is that what you're going for? Would you fuck this? Would you fuck this pussy? Oh. Can you do for me? How do you do it? <laughs> what? It's not like you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would totally do these nails if it wasn't like a video where I was doing someone else's makeup. By the way, thanks to Fernando for this bag. To ask me how you can get, he got on Taobao. A girl, this shit was six dollars apparently, and this. This is the bag apparatus, but I literally, you can't fit anything in there, but it's still cute as like an accessory. If you can find that Kurumi shit on AliExpress and you're into that, those kinds of calls, oof, totally recommend it. Like, oh, one, 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 one. The cunty, cunty, cunty. Ah. That's crazy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>